let's now look at begin end block so if you look here in the documents the begin block it limits the scope of declared variable so begin block initiates a block of statements where the declared variable exists only in the until the corresponding end and let's see how that is set up so we have begin we have end and within this we have the uh, sql statements now in the query here we have the first example where we are declaring a variable x as integer 64 and initializing it with a default value of 10. then we have this begin block which is this and it has these three lines of code where inside of the begin we declare another variable y which is in 64 and then we set the value of y equal to the value of x and that would be the default value of 10 that we set earlier then we select y so what this will do is this will print the value of uh, this will output the value of y and then the scope of y would end right here where we specify the end and after that we can still access the value of x which was kind of the globally declared variable x that is, that is outside of the begin end block now when we run this particular query we would see two separate outputs for two separate select statements so here we have select y so that would be a different output and we have select x that would be a different output so let's run this query first and see what we get so here in the output we should see two results so we have the results for select y we have results for the select x when we look at the select results for select y we get the 10 that was assigned from this default value of x uh, inside of the begin end block and then for x we get the value of we should get the value of 10 as is uh, from the declaration that we had right in the first line of the query now to check if the scope of y ends inside of this begin end block what we can do is we could comment this out and simply replace this x with y and see if we still get the output for y outside of the begin end block and i'm guessing we should get an error in this case uh, because the scope of y is limited to the begin end block and so as we can see unrecognized name y and that's because the scope of y did end inside of the begin and end block so unrecognized name so that's exactly what this is trying to say so we can go back and change this and this would be the way uh, to run this query where the x can be accessed because it's outside the begin end block and y can be accessed only inside of this begin end block and also x because it's uh, outside of the begin end block it still can be accessed inside of any nested begin end blocks that follow uh, here is another uh, variation of that which says begin exception end and what that allows us to do if, if there is an error we can uh, we can still uh, allow the query to proceed and not crash and in the exception clause then we can specify what should be done if there happens to be an error in the query so here let's say we have this query and in this query we have a nested begin end block so this is the outer block and then we have this inner block right here and inside let's look at the outer block first so we have the begin right here and then we have this part of the query and then we have exception when error then do this and so let's say we have a select a statement here select clause which is 2 divided by 0 and this is going to create an error and so what would happen is it would not enter this block it will simply hit the exception when error and it will run this particular line of code so let's run this query and see that uh, we should see the error and we should see that this this second uh, exception is run so here we see that we have the exclamation mark that's the error and it's a division by zero error that we expect 
and then the second the query didn't crash it went on and it did run the code that was specified in the exception block so here we have two this is an exception after a two this is an exception after the error so this is the line that we typed uh, which we see in the output now if we comment out the a line select statement in the first begin block that generates the error we should see that the inner block is run and if there is a error in the inner block then we should see this one dash this is an exception error this is an exception after an error so let's run this and see what output we get and in this case uh, the second exception block this should not run and we just see the first one run so here we see the error select one divided by zero we have division by zero error and then we have the inner exception block getting executed and we see one dash this is an exception after an error so which is sorry which is this one right here so those were the two examples and then there is another way in which we can uh, use the exception let's say we have we create a stored procedure stored procedure uh, would be a list of uh, commands or it will be another query that is stored and you can run that uh, let's say on a timely basis uh, to perform a particular task on the data table so here we let's say we are creating a stored procedure we won't go into what the stored procedure is for now so we just create a stored procedure and uh, it is so we have then a begin end block here so this this particular uh, this particular begin end block then generates an error division by zero then we have another stored procedure which then calls the stored procedure we created above which is right here and it should create again this particular error because we are calling it right again the second time and when we then so what we are doing is we created the stored procedure we call that stored procedure inside of another stored procedure and then in the another begin and block we call that stored procedure that we created the second time which is stored procedure 2 now if there is an error and there is going to be an error because we have the division by 0 here so when we run the except inside of the exception we have a list of error message messages that uh, we need to be uh, we need to see in the output so error dot message error dot stack underscore trace error dot statement underscore text error dot formatted underscore stack underscore trace and then the end so when we run this what is going to happen is we are creating this stored procedure and uh, here we have a select clause which is one divided by zero and then we are creating a second stored procedure two which calls the stored procedure one we created above and then after that in this particular begin and block we call this stored procedure two and we put uh, this select clause inside of exception let's run this query and we should see uh, three instances of it being run well, one is create uh, this procedure one with procedure two and then we get the error uh, after we made the call inside of this particular block at line 75 and after that the exception block was initiated and we should see the stack trace so for each of these let's uh, let me zoom out and look at the results so this is uh, this statement replaced the procedure named stored procedure this procedure and we go to the procedure and so this is the procedure and this is the query inside of that procedure next we have uh, let's go back to the query results and then we can look at the stored procedure too and here we have the query for that uh, which is a begin and block and inside of this we are simply calling the procedure one that we just created and we go back to the query and now when we run the last 
that is the third begin and block we encounter an error and we see the division by zero but because although this was uh, there was an error the query didn't stop it went into the exception block and then it ran the select clause that was inside of it and as we had mentioned we have the message and the query error division by zero uh, division by zero at this particular stored procedure so which in inside of which stored procedure that error was encountered we have that information and then we have the other information line column file name location etc so that's how we can use the begin end block and begin exception end block I hope you got some intuition on this. We'll also be using uh, similar methods in if else and while clauses that we'll be going through in upcoming videos. If you have any comments or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.